Hey guys, Samish here and today I'm going to do part 4 of how to create a build and part 4 this is going to be mainly looking at how to edit the menu bar when along the bottom um, the picture on screen now is a menu bar that I did for my horizon build as you can see it's a lot different than your standard black bar uh, you get when you first install Kodi so what we're going to do is first of all the build we are going to be editing again today will be our snowboarding build or the build you've started yourself um, from parts 1, 2 and 3 so we're going to go ahead and try and make this uh, look a little bit different now there's several things you're going to need first of all you're going to need a PNG editing software and you're going to need the Kodi texture tool now for the software you want to go on to www.getpaint.net and then you want to go ahead and you want to click on the download button I'll be putting these links in the um, description below and the second thing you're going to want is the Kodi texture tool again here's the link up here you can go ahead and save this now or go ahead and copy and paste it from the description I'll be putting in the bottom of this video and again you just want to go ahead and download that using that link there okay then once that's done you're going to want to put them on your home screen or somewhere where they're nice and easy to get to okay so after we've done that the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and create a folder on your desktop called textures okay, just a nice empty folder called textures on your desktop and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and get the, the, the files we need so we're going to want to open the Kodi texture tool there's two parts to this <clears throat> there's the input <coughs> sorry and then there's the the output so we want to input our uh, images first so you want to click select input and we're going to want to find the texture file that is inside Kodi so it's users the name you're using on your computer app data roaming and then Kodi so you want to go on to add-ons you want to go down to the Aeon Nox skin we are using there it is and we want to load or media I'll click on media and there's the texture tool we are looking for I know it's a bit long-winded but that's the quickest way I can find to get into it so go ahead and click open and then we want to send all of that to the texture folder we've just made so select output we want to click on desktop and click on textures click select folder and we want to start now as you can see it says at the bottom you can see the menu bar running this takes probably 20 seconds at most to be done so we're just going to wait for that there we go and that's now opened our new textures folder and here's all the stuff that Aeon Nox uses to create the skin okay so we're going to head and close that for a minute and we'll just minimize this for the time being now our textures folder is now full the one we want to edit is going to be home menu underscore png now that's the black line that you see running throughout Kodi so that's going to be the one we want to edit now what you want to do is you want to look for the things you want to put on your menu bar or how you want your menu bar to look like for example if you're going to want it to be see-through like the one I've just got or if you'd like yours to have a colour in the background or what images you'd like to put on it so I've gone on to Google and I've typed in snowboard because that's the theme I'm using and we want to be looking for PNG files that just may basically means it's got no um, background image it's just the picture you get is the picture there's no white or blues or backs in the background so when it sits onto your build it's not got a colored box around it so what you want to do is you want to go and just save out some pictures that you want in my head at the minute I was thinking about putting a mountain range in the middle of my build and just a few snowboarders either side like I did with my um, horizon build with the astronauts so go ahead save out some pictures and uh, yeah we'll go from there okay so we have our textures folder on the right hand side we want to go and find the home menu underscore back 
file there it is and now it's easy you can either right and click and open with paint or what I like to do is just drag and drop it straight in now as you can see down here the ratio is 1920 by 225 now as you're editing um, it's, it's good to know a little bit about using this like this type of software but you, we can get through it if you don't so you want to keep the ratio at 1920 by 225 if it gets any bigger than this what's going to happen is it's, it's just going to not fit properly on your build so what I've done is I've already found some pictures so I've put my fit pictures in here so again I'm just going to drag one over and then I want to add it as a new layer so let's open this back up as you can see your layers here as you tick them on and off it will show you what you've got there um, when you save this out it will only save the things that are ticked so if I saved it now it will just save that picture if I saved it now it would save it with the black in the background so for the time being right, so, so first of all we need the tool the, the moving tool and then I can go ahead and start moving this around again if this number moves from 1920 by 225 you want to go into image you want to go into canvas size and turn it back to 1920 by 225 make sure the aspect ratio is turned off okay so if it does change if you add in a picture that's far too big go ahead shrink it then go ahead and uh, change the width and the height of the pixels um, hopefully it won't happen while we're doing it but if it does it'll just be a good example so I want a nice big snowboard for where the text is going to go so let's just stretch and skew all of this it needs to be a bit longer it looks a bit of a stumpy snowboard at the minute now it's looking quite good let's straighten it out so at the minute the text of the menu bar should be sitting in the middle of here somewhere and hit enter so so far that's what the menu bar will look like if I take the background out it's just going to be that okay I think I'm gonna add in a snowboard somewhere so let's go ahead in and add this little guy again add layer he's small enough that it's not going to mess around with the aspect ratio so let's go ahead and make him a little bit bigger and I think because this little bit's cut out here I'm just gonna flip him so it's not the it's the layer I want to flip so we want to go ahead and flip horizontally there we go so if we flip him there okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the black background uh, to a different color so what you're gonna want to do is click on the shape tool and what you're gonna want to do is create a rectangle that about covers the same black rectangle you can see on the screen so that looks about right now we want to click on the paint bucket and then we want to choose our color down here if this color box isn't here just go ahead and up here and click that there it'll come up now I want a nice white one because it's a, a snow theme so just make sure that these boxes are selected to the color you want so I've already got a nice white theme so if I go ahead and now click on that it will now make the box nice and white again it's covering the snowboard so what we're going to want to do is just we want to drag this down until it is behind so that's the finished look I think I'm going to go with um, so what you want to do is you want to save as and you want to save it as this file first so you can go back and edit it later if you want so it's fine to call it that or we'll just call it Cody menu and that's going to save to my desktop so I know where it is and then again we want to go out and save it again but this time we want to save it as a PNG okay and we can go ahead and click save and that's going to save it and it should flatten it for us as well there you go now that's going to flatten the image okay so we can go ahead out of this 
Okay, we should now have two here. This one is for us to edit because it's the PDN file, and this is the one we're going to want to put into our textures uh, folder. So let's go open textures. Now we'll go down and we want to swap out the home menu underscore PNG. So we want to rename this one so it knows. So it's the home menu underscore back PNG. Now what we do is we drag it over and it will tell us that we're going to replace the file in the des destination. Yep, click fine. And that's that is now saved in the textures file. So now we want to use the second part. So select the input and we want to input the textures file we've been making. So click on textures. Then the output will be the textures file that is inside of Kodi. So again, you want to go through to users, your username, app data, roaming, Kodi. And now from here, we want to find the skin, which is our Nox. So it's add ons all the way down to our Nox. And then we want to go inside of media and we want to click on the textures and save. Now we're going to click start and that's going to do its thing. Now, a big tip for it that will save you loads of time if you're going to keep editing and tweaking it is leave, once this is done, leave this leave this uh, box, this uh, program running because it already remembers now the input folder as textures and it remembers the output file as the textures uh, file. So if you go back in now again to textures and edit anything in here and then click start it's going to remember it and do it all for you so let's have a quick look now at the Kodi and see what the background looks like so it's looking there uh, it's getting there as you can see it looks a lot different than the other one again the snowboarding the snowboard itself could do with coming left a little bit so it sits a bit better inside of the middle and as you can see at the minute there's like a kind of a gray shadow or a skin now we can go and get rid of that so go back into textures and we want to get rid of when I see it the gradient floor PNG so go ahead and delete that like I said because it knows now we've been playing with this folder go ahead and press start and it will do it all for us okay that's done so again let's open Kodi and now see if it's taken the shadow off there we go there's now sh no shadows on that now so as we scroll across again it's looking quite nice and clean okay guys this is what I'm playing around with so far um, the next bit will be looking at just uh, changing the sub menu bits here again it's pretty straightforward so let's go and have a look now, it's these two here that we want to go ahead and change so let's go ahead and open them up in paint so as you can see it's just there's the the bit that's got no background so we want to change just this bit here so again I'm going to just go ahead and create a small rectangle inside of that I'd, there you go I've just made a rectangle and then I've just made a solid black color actually I'm going to change this one for white just as I'd like a nice white one to go with the build so again file save as I'm going to save it on my desktop at the minute and um, you want to save out as the PNG and I'm going to keep it exactly the same name as it was as a bullet in just to save time okay and as you can see it's just white so again save that there it is now all I want to do is drag that first of all is delete the one we've just ha had in there drag that one back in and again we want to do the same for the uh, other bit so again put that in you can see we just want that bit coloured this one's going to be a little bit different let's just go ahead and get the paint tool Okay, 
as you can see the transparent grey is now um, pure white so again file save as uh, make sure you save it as a PNG and again leave the name the same uh, drop that back into the desktop go ahead press OK and then flatten oh, I've done it for us okay good and again we want to find the one we want to delete so delete that one and then drag and drop okay and like I said before just press start on this because you they know where what folder we're playing with so that's what it looks like with it completely white uh, I honestly don't think it looks too good obviously because we've got the text down there as white at the top so we're gonna go ahead and probably change that to a, another color maybe a nice blue so the bottom bar has changed quite a bit I've just carried on tweaking it like I showed you using the files again I've just changed the background color using the uh, rectangle and then coloring it in um, these snowboard pictures in the corner are both just PNGs and I've just obviously just flipped one to make it look better and then I found this nice white um, snowboarding mountain range that I've just put in the middle but yeah I'm pretty happy with that um, hope you guys are getting on well with yours please like and subscribe and keep an eye out for the next video if you have any comments um, or you get stuck either leave your comments in the message below this video or I'll put my Twitter handle up on the screen now it's sandwich1986 cheers guys bye bye